Gloria! Gloria, you beat your record! Do you hear that? It sounds like snoring. Who could be sleeping at this time of day? Let's go check it out. <gasps> a bat! When's he gonna wake up? Bats are nocturnal, Melman, just like the hedgies. So they sleep all day and party all night. Oh, I can't wait to meet our new neighbor. <sighs> I gotta run. I promise Andy I'll help him put together a costume for his cousin's Halloween party. But what if the bat wakes up while you're gone? I can meet him later. Like you said, he'll be up all night. Good afternoon. My name is Bartholomew. I do apologize for frightening you. It was not my intention. That's okay. I scare easily. This is Gloria, Alex, and I'm Melman. What a marvelously long neck you have, Melman. I have never seen anything like it. Melman's a giraffe. They all have really long necks. Show him what you can do, Melman. Ooh, with a twist. If you don't mind me asking, Mr. Bartholomew, what happened to your wing? Nothing serious, just a sprain. Your Lady Katarina has been so kind to care for me. Who's Lady Katarina? I think he means Kate. I shall not be here long, just until it heals. Then I will return to the wild. Well, as long as you're here, you should hang out with us and our pal, Marty. He's gonna be a park ranger someday. Hmm, tell me about this Marty. I've sorted the lost and found. This pile is temporarily lost. That's stuff that's gotta be returned. And that pile is lost forever. That's the stuff nobody comes back for. We can pick out a costume from that pile. What do you think? Pass. Too flashy. Hmm, not flashy enough. Wait, that's it. A saw shaker, a fork, and a plastic lid? What are you going at? Somebody's dinner? Watch and learn. Just call me Sir Anthony, knight of the picnic table. Ha! How do I look? Great, but you're making me hungry. Where's the rest of the gang? I want to show them my costume. Ha! They're across the habitat meeting the newest resident. He's a bat. A bat? Did you hear about that one bat who turned into a vampire? A vampire? Yeah, I don't remember who told me about it. Might have been my Aunt Josie from Jersey, or was it Uncle Barney from the Bronx? Aunt Nee, what about the bat? Do you remember any details? How could I forget? The details were terrifying. This bat would soar through the sky looking for unsuspecting folks with the biggest, juiciest necks he could find. <laughs> when he found them, he'd turn into a vampire, hypnotize them with his eyes, and chomp on them! Next. Jump on the necks! Anyway, I better fly. <laughs> Don't want to be late to the party. And hey, keep your eyes out for vampires. <gasps> oh, oh no, I gotta save my friends from that bat. Party, the bat's awake. Kate's giving him a checkup, but when she's done, you can meet him. His name's Bartholomew. What? No, we have to get as far away from him as we can. He's gonna turn into a vampire, hypnotize him with his eyes, and jump into our big juicy necks. <laughs> Oh, you weren't joking. Bartholomew would never do any of that stuff. Well, he did compliment my neck. Of course he did. Who's got a bigger, juicier neck than you? Juicy? Melman, we gotta get you out of here. We gotta get all of us out of here. Hold on. Kate wouldn't bring a dangerous animal into the habitat. She's taking care of him while his wing heals. That's what he wants us to believe. <sighs> Rise and shine, team. There's a crowd already waiting to see you. <sighs> Did somebody say crowd? Morning, Alex. Hey, Kate. I got something really special for the habitat. <gasps> what do you think it could be? <gasps> Ooh. Huh? Wow! It's a really big rock. I noticed some kiddos had trouble seeing Alex perform. Go, Alex! Mom, what's he doing? I thought this would make a great stage for his shows. Being center stage on a big stage sounds perfect for Alex. Now, let's check on Bill. He was cranky this morning. Wow. Do you see the size of this thing? I'll be on top of the world. You better get up there soon, my main mammal. It's showtime. Right. Here we go. Cones am I holding up? <gasps> That's it. 
If I can't reach it from down here, I'll just have to do it from up there. <laughs> That's the catitude we know and love. We'll warm up the crowd for you. The lion's big leap is clear for takeoff. Alex, are you ready? Of course he's ready. Are you ready? Uh-huh. <gasps> I just need to get to the top of that stage. I can do this. One suggestion. Hold on tight, but not too tight. <laughs> just use your feet hands. But my feet are just feet feet. Well, let's just hope you land on it. Ah! I should have included this in my act years ago. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone help him! He's just a baby! What? No, I'm not. Uh, uh. I'll catch you, Alex. Ah! Whoa! Don't worry, buddy. I got you. I don't need saving. I have it all under control. Oh! Yeah, that tiny lion's adorable. Yeah. I'm not tiny or adorable. I'm a disaster. That's not true. You're an entertaining disaster. I guess Alex is too little for the stage. Alex is just right the way he is. It's the stage that's too big. That was humiliating. You heard, Kate. There's nothing wrong with being an Alex-sized lion. <sighs> How will I ever be a big star when I'm just so small? Oh, come on, Alex. There's got to be a way to bring back that smile of yours. How about a game of limbo? You always win. Because I'm the smallest. A ride around the merry-go-round? Last time we went, they thought I was a baby, and I had to sit on your lap. Oh, and it was so cuddly, like squeezing a little teddy bear. Mm. <laughs> You're not that small. <laughs> Hi, Anthony. <sighs> Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, little guy. Didn't see you there. Hi, Annie. You're never gonna believe the news I have. Today is Super Mega Day at Coney Island. Ooh, I've never been to Coney Island. It's great. It's got rides, games, a beach, and today, everything at Coney Island is Super Mega sized. I'm talking Super Mega games, Super Mega rides, Super Mega ah! prizes, and most of all, Super Mega snacks. Super Mega sized, huh? That sounds awesome. Then it sounds perfect for me. I'm ready to be Super Mega sized. <clears throat> First rain, now wind. What a mess. Now, how about that storm, New York? And other news. A Costa Rican sloth named Lucia was found uptown. No one knows how huh? this world-traveling sloth arrived, but she'll be staying at a rescue habitat at the Central Park Zoo. Hey, that's where we live. Hey, kids. Morning, Ranger. You here to help the sloth settle in? No, I'm here to see you. I've got 10 young horses graduating to park ranger service tomorrow. Right now, they're practicing their graduation trot through the park. <laughs> Stripes? Oh, yes, ma'am? I was just dreaming about the day I'll be doing my own graduation trot. Well, why don't you get a taste of it and come watch the ranger horses graduate tomorrow? You'll be my guest. You're kidding! Do I look like I kid around? I don't think she kids around. I'll be there with bells on, ranger. Mm-mm, bells are for cows. But you can bring your park ranger hat. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get to see a real ranger horse graduation. I'll need to get plenty of sleep and polish my hat and practice my trot. Oh, ah! Day! Hey, Anthony, what's the word? That world traveling sloth is having a grand reveal, and I want to get close to the. Whoa! Sloth! That's too close. Huh? One for you. One for you. World traveler, huh? Hola. Oh. <laughs> Are you? I'm Lucia. Mind if I do a little unpacking? It's a bit crowded by the guest habitat. Uh, sure. I'm Alex, by the way. Nice news report on you this morning. Thanks, but I think they should point their cameras at more regal faces. Like yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nelman. What beautiful hooves. They sparkle like the Amazon River at dawn. I've always wanted to be sparkly. I'm Gloria. Oh, I love to meet a water spirit like myself. I didn't know sloths swim. I swim even faster than I walk. <gasps> Me too! I'm 
Marty. If you have questions about the rules or how things work around here, I'm your zebra. Rules? <laughs> You're funny. Oh, my travel pillow. Ooh, itchy. <gasps> Marty, look away. Did you just rip the tag off that pillow? Yep. Why? It's just a tag. It's not just a tag. I can't read, but even I know it says, do not remove under, under penalty, penalty of, of the law. law. Well, I can read, and it says right here, do chill. It's just a tag. <gasps> I'm kidding, of course. You're not going to tell on me, are you? Uh, <laughs> no. You really follow every rule, huh? You don't get to graduation trot by ripping tags off pillows. We want to slide. Where's that slide? Sounds like your grand reveal is starting. Shouldn't you be over there? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hear New Yorkers are fond of being on time. <laughs> but I'll be back soon to hang out with my new friends. That's all of you. Until then, pura vida. Did we just meet our new favorite animal? Because it sure feels like it. Should we go watch her perform? Absolutely. Yes, please. Y'all have fun. I've got lots to do before the graduation ceremony tomorrow. Trot, trot, gate. Trot, trot, 